as the last of the human ships clumsily settled into the gleaming expanse of the Galactic Council's docking bay, a snicker spread through the assembly like a wave. Admiral Vrex, watching from the towering council chamber, turned to his aide with a smirk. Looks like the humans brought toys to a war summit, he scoffed, unaware that one of the human ships a seemingly modest cargo hauler was preparing to demonstrate a technology that would soon silence the galaxy's laughter. The cosmos was alive with shimmering gateways, each one a portal to the Galactic Council's immense starbase. Amid the grand armada of starships each a testament to the architectural prowess of its species the human fleet made its entrance. A modest assembly of crafts, their hulls etched with the scars of micrometeor impacts and solar flares, they appeared almost like relics from a bygone era when juxtaposed with the sleek vessels of the galaxy's elder races. Captain Elena Mora stood resolutely at the helm of the Earth Vessel Pioneer, her gaze locked on the colossal docking bay that now yawned open before them. This engineering marvel was vast enough to accommodate a small moon, its walls lined with vessels that glittered like jewels against the void of space. Initiating docking sequence, announced Lieutenant Harrow, her voice steady yet tinged with an undercurrent of tension. The crew of the Pioneer operated with practiced precision, acutely aware of the many scrutinizing eyes from the observation decks above. As the ship secured its berth, a murmur rippled through the council's chamber, where species from across the galaxy had convened. Whispers in a hundred languages swirled through the air, tinged with palpable skepticism. Humanity dares to stand among us? One delegate sneered audibly, his words instantly translated by the chamber's universal communicators. Stepping onto the delegate's platform, Elena felt every piercing stare. Clad in her uniform adorned with marks of service and honor, she stood as a representative not just of her crew, but of her entire species. We are here to share knowledge and stand as equals, she declared, her voice resonating throughout the chamber. Her counterpart, a towering Thalmerian delegate named Voxeri, looked down at her with a smirk. Equals? Your ships would suggest otherwise, Captain Mora. Pray tell, what innovations could your kind possibly contribute to this council? Voxeri's voice boomed, reverberating off the chamber walls. Unfazed, Elena met his gaze squarely. Judge us not by the size of our vessels, but by the resilience and ingenuity they harbor. Humanity has much to offer, beyond what meets the eye. A murmur of approval emanated from a few of the smaller, less technologically advanced races a ripple of solidarity. They too had often been underestimated by the Council's more dominant species. Voxeri's eyes narrowed, unaccustomed to such forthright challenge. Very well, human. We shall see. The Council will conduct a demonstration of your fleet's capabilities. Will you rise to the occasion, or will you falter? Elena's response was swift, her stance resolute. We will rise as we always have, through adversity and beyond. As she turned to rejoin her delegation, her communications officer discreetly handed her a data pad. The screen displayed an urgent message from Dr. Adrian Kim, head of their experimental technology division, stealth tech readiness at 80%. High risk of malfunction under stress. With the resolve of a leader well versed in the stakes at hand, Elena typed a swift reply Proceed. It's time they see what we're truly capable of. The Grand Chamber of the Galactic Council was a dazzling tapestry of colors and shapes, filled with delegates from myriad worlds under a luminous dome. The air was vibrant with alien dialects, punctuated by the occasional chime of universal translators which adeptly rendered the diverse tongues into intelligible speech. Captain Elena Mora, having just descended from the platform, now stood with her modest delegation at the back of the chamber. Their lower position, seemingly deliberate, appeared to be a subtle nod from the council to humanity's perceived inferiority. Admiral Vrex, a towering figure clad in the shimmering battle armor of the Reiner Confederacy, approached her. Renowned for their strategic acumen, his species had navigated the galaxy's political waters with a blend of diplomacy and military strength. Captain Mora, your confidence is commendable. Yet confidence alone does not sustain civilizations, Vrex remarked, his voice a deep rumble, more felt than heard. 
What hidden fangs does humanity possess? Elena offered a thin smile. Admiral, sometimes the greatest strength lies in concealing one's fangs until the moment is ripe. Vrex nodded, his gaze a mixture of amusement and perhaps a glimmer of respect. We shall see at the demonstration, won't we? The council then announced the terms of the demonstration. Humanity was to partake in a mock battle scenario against automated drones, designed to mimic a real enemy assault. Known throughout the council worlds for their lethal efficiency, these drones had previously humbled many formidable species. As Elena and her team exited the chamber, a flurry of hushed speculations and not-so-subtle doubts followed them from their interstellar peers. Once secluded, her communications officer, Lieutenant Harrow, voiced her concern. Captain, are we really proceeding with the stealth tech? It's fraught with risk. Yes, we are, Elena affirmed, pausing to meet her team's eyes with unwavering determination. This isn't merely about displaying our technology, it's about asserting our rightful place here. We do this our way. Preparations commence without delay. Aboard the Pioneer, Dr. Adrian Kim and his team were a blur of activity, amidst a chaos of cables and open panels, frantically adjusting the stealth technology that might either save them or seal their fate. Ensure those emitters are shielded thoroughly. I won't have us sparking out before we even vanish, Dr. Kim commanded, dabbing the sweat from his brow. From the viewing deck, Elena observed the frenzy of preparations through the viewport, her mind teeming with strategies and contingencies. Rex's earlier words lingered in her thoughts a stark reminder that in this galaxy, respect was earned through power and astuteness. As the critical hour approached, Elena rejoined her crew, confronting the blend of anticipation and apprehension etched on their faces. She addressed them with a steadiness she barely felt. Today, we defy expectations not merely with our technology but through our courage to stand firm when others anticipate our downfall. Let's demonstrate what humanity is truly made of. In the dimly lit control room of the Earth Vessel Pioneer, tension hung thick in the air. Technicians bustled about, their faces intermittently lit by the soft luminescence of computer screens that displayed complex schematics and real-time diagnostics. Dr. Adrian Kim, his brow furrowed in deep concentration, supervised the final tweaks to the stealth technology humanity's ace in the hole. Boost the power to the cloaking emitters, but monitor the thermal output closely. We can't afford any overheating during the demonstration, Dr. Kim instructed, his voice firm yet underscored by a palpable concern. Outside, the vast demonstration arena, a tapestry of stars and darkness, was speckled with council ships and drones, all awaiting the performance of Earth's purportedly inferior fleet. Captain Elena Mora, standing adjacent to Dr. Kim, surveyed her crew's diligent preparations. She turned to him, her expression one of unwavering resolve. Adrian, are we ready? He paused, his eyes briefly darting back to the readouts. As ready as possible under these conditions. The tech is stable for now, but it remains unpredictable, Elena. You're aware of that. Elena placed a reassuring hand on his shoulder. I have faith in your work, Adrian. Let's demonstrate our true capabilities. The decisive moment arrived. The council's observation deck was abuzz with delegates, their gazes locked on the view screens. Admiral Vrex, among them, displayed a keen interest in the improving human technology. Initiate the demonstration, a council official ordered. As the arena's lights dimmed further, the exercise began. At Elena's command, the human ships, compact and nimble, assumed their formation. Engage the stealth tech she directed through the ship's intercom. As the fleet held its collective breath, the stealth emitters were activated. Gradually, the ships began to fade, their outlines blurring into the cosmic backdrop until they were almost imperceptible. A murmur of astonishment swept across the council's deck. Rex leaned in, his eyes narrowing in intrigue. Clever, he whispered, a tinge of respect mingling with his surprise. Yet, the technology proved temperamental. During the maneuver, the Valiant began flickering erratically between visibility and invisibility, its systems evidently overtaxed. Dr. Kim, status report. 
Elena called out, her tone steady yet pressing. It's the Valiant, Captain. The emitter is overloading. I can stabilize it, but I need a moment, Dr. Kim replied, his hands a blur over the controls. Elena made an instantaneous decision. Proceed. And make it swift, Adrian. While Dr. Kim worked to rectify the issue, the Valiant reemerged completely, its position now exposed. Council drones, simulating enemy combatants, quickly zeroed in on the vulnerable ship. Valiant is exposed, Captain. Should we abort the demonstration? Asked the lieutenant, her voice tinged with worry. No, continue, Elena decided firmly, her eyes never leaving the beleaguered ship. Demonstrate that even in visibility, we remain unvanquished. Despite its compromised position, the Valiant adeptly dodged the initial volleys of simulated fire, showcasing remarkable piloting prowess under duress. Eventually, the stealth tech was restored, and the ship disappeared once again, to the audible relief of the human crew and the stunned silence of the Council. As the demonstration wrapped up, the human ships reconvened, now all cloaked and intact. The chamber was a cacophony of reactions some odd, others incredulous. The vast void surrounding the demonstration arena pulsed with the anticipatory energy of the Galactic Council's delegates. Their diverse eyes, some singular, others multiple, clung to the expansive screens that displayed the dark canvas of space, awaiting the next chapter of human technological prowess. Captain Elena Mora stood resolutely at the command center aboard the Earth Vessel Pioneer, her eyes riveted to the data streaming in real time. Her crew was poised, acutely aware that their every maneuver was scrutinized not just for its excellence but also for potential flaws. Prepare to initiate phase two of the demonstration. Activate drone targeting protocols on my mark, Elena directed, her voice slicing through the murmurs of her team with precision. On the observation deck, Admiral Vrex watched with a discerning eye. Let us see if their courage matches their capability, he commented to a fellow delegate. Back on the Pioneer, Elena observed as the stealth-enabled ships slipped into their attack positions, their outlines mere whispers against the cosmic backdrop. Now engage. The first volley of simulated photon torpedoes launched silently from the cloaked vessels. The target drones, designed for rigorous combat exercises, responded instantaneously, but they were struck before they could complete their evasive maneuvers. A spontaneous cheer erupted from the human crew, their relief tangible within the confines of the command center. Direct hits confirmed on all initial targets, Lieutenant Harrow reported, her voice buoyed by the success. Yet, the triumph was fleeting. The Valiant, previously troubled, flickered back into visibility, sparks erupting from its stealthy emitter a sign of critical malfunction. Elena's heart tightened. Dr. Kim, status report. Frantically adjusting the controls, Dr. Kim replied, the Valiant stealth system is overloading. I need additional time to recalibrate. Negative, we can't have it exposed. Withdraw Valiant from the front line immediately. Elena's command was decisive, her decision difficult but essential. As the Valiant retreated, its form flickering as it struggled to maintain cloaking, the remaining ships pressed their attack. Despite the setback, the human fleet continued to impress with their precision and agility. On the observation deck, murmurs of respect intermingled with disbelief. Vrex, arms folded, nodded slowly. Resourceful, indeed. They transformed their vulnerabilities into advantages, he acknowledged, his voice colored with a newfound respect. Meanwhile, Elena checked in with the Valiant, now safely distanced from the immediate conflict. Valiant status? Damage contained, Captain? Ready to resume with manual overrides if necessary, the pilot responded, his voice composed despite the ordeal. Stand by, Valiant. Let's finish this with strength. Elena then addressed her crew. All ships, proceed to the final assault sequence. Let's make this impactful. With invigorated resolve, the human ships, still largely cloaked, launched their final attack. The drones, overwhelmed by the unexpected ferocity and tactical ingenuity, were swiftly neutralized. 
As the demonstration wrapped up, applause cascaded from the council delegates, many of whom had not anticipated such a formidable display from the newcomers. Elena permitted herself a modest smile. They had achieved more than a mere performance, they had altered perceptions, securing a victory on multiple fronts. Captain, your orders? Lieutenant Harrow inquired, her eyes gleaming with pride. Prepare for debrief, Lieutenant. We need to discuss our next moves. Today, we've opened a door. Tomorrow, we step through it, Elena concluded, her gaze already set on the horizon of new possibilities. As the last echoes of the demonstration dissipated into the silence of space, the human delegation convened in the briefing room aboard the Earth vessel Pioneer. Captain Elena Mora surveyed her crew, observing a mix of fatigue and subdued satisfaction on their faces. They had not only risen to the Galactic Council's challenge, but had also transformed it into a testament to human resilience and creativity. Team, Elena began, her voice imbued with gratitude and pride. Today, you exemplified the very best of humanity. It wasn't just our technology that shone, but also our spirit. Thank you. A round of applause filled the room, a rare moment of celebration amid the significance of their accomplishment. Meanwhile, the observation deck of the Galactic Council buzzed with discussions and debates. Representatives of various alien races, initially skeptical, now revisited their views on humanity's role in the cosmic order. Admiral Vrex approached Elena as she stepped out of the briefing room. Captain Mora, I must confess, the performance of your fleet was enlightening. Humanity appears to be full of surprises. Elena acknowledged the compliment with a diplomatic smile. Thank you, Admiral. We hope this demonstration will pave the way for further cooperation. A gleam of strategic interest sparked in Vrex's eyes. Indeed it may. Let us explore potential alliances. There is much we can learn from each other. Back on Earth, news of the successful demonstration spread rapidly. Across continents, people congregated around screens, watching replays of their ships executing precise strikes from invisibility. It was a victory not only of technology but also a profound statement to the world about their collective capability. In the Galactic Council Chamber, a formal session was convened. The Council unanimously voted to grant humanity probationary membership, with the possibility of full membership contingent on further cooperative endeavors. We accept this opportunity with both humility and hope, Elena addressed the Council, her speech broadcast across human territories. We are eager to contribute to peace and progress within the galaxy. Post-meeting, Elena and her delegation were thronged by various alien representatives, each expressing interest in human technology and the courage demonstrated. Elena handled inquiries and proposals, her mind already strategizing on how to leverage this newfound respect to humanity's benefit. Later, in the solitude of her quarters, Elena gazed out at the stars. The burdens of leadership were immense, yet moments like these rendered them worthwhile. She contemplated the path that had led them here, the obstacles they had overcome and the future they were shaping among the stars. The door chimed, and Dr. Adrian Kim entered, his expression one of muted joy. Captain, just wanted to say we did it, huh? Elena's laughter, a sound seldom heard in her quarters, filled the room. We did, Adrian. Thanks to your tireless efforts. Adrian joined her at the window, both gazing into the vastness of space. There's more ahead, isn't there? more challenges, more opportunities to prove ourselves. Yes, Elena responded, her eyes fixed on the cosmic horizon. And we will meet them, as we always have. Together.